hello guys now it's time for another tutorial it's like my previous tutorial same based on rolling spinner as you can see it's really nice and it's entirely based on CSS no JavaScript and nothing else so I hope you'll like this because it's really impressive I was just like totally gone on the first look I'll not be marking marking up the HTML again because it will be right in front of you throughout the tutorial and now let me remove the whole CSS. As you can see, it's removed and we have a nice blank canvas to work on. So, and then first we'll be setting height and width to a spinner. As I already said you, 50 pixel is the ideal size for spinners across all devices. So, set the height and width to 50 pixels. Position, fixed, because we don't want us Spinner to get scroll, scrolled up as it's really important for the user. Top zero, bottom zero, left again zero, right again zero, and margin auto. Then we are done. We have completed almost one part of the tutorial. Now our spinner is right in the center. Now what we'll be doing is styling those layers those dot inners dot inner first we'll be setting height and width both to 50 pixels to cover up the whole area then display block because it's a span element and does not have its height of its own so we have to set it to display block now we'll be setting position absolute because all layers will be overlapping each other top zero and bottom zero for security that they won't mess up now border radius 100 percent because we want a spinner to be circle not a square then we'll be setting border four pixels solid transparent transparent because we'll be setting the colors later because every layer will have a different color that will give a nice feel if they have different colors on every layer if we have a different color on layers now opacity it's really important because Overlapping spinners Spinners are overlapping each other. It will give a nice feel now Box sizing because we don't want our inner rings to overlap or overflow The container that is dot spinner So it's all done Now Let's add some colors border colors to the first element inner dot inner and th child one so we'll be setting border top color and border bottom color to same value you can change them later on or you can set them to different one but i prefer keeping them same for every single layer here i'm using a, a shade of orange so it's as you can see it's not appearing because it's transparent we are using 50% transparency and here shell 2 will be setting border left color and border right color because the only those things have are left now border left color and border right color so let's let me check what color i have to use um, i need to open my color database for that so let's see which is the best mm, this is fine the purple okay we are ready oops let me save it okay as you can see it's looking like a spinner now now empty shell 3 because we don't have any space left so you can set the border color to any of this side no matters but make sure they are opposite 
so here I am setting bottom top and bottom bottom color I need to check the color again now we'll be using a red this one okay so now we're done so our spinner has almost complete just need to add a bit of animations in this so let's what we'll be doing in animation is we'll be rotating 360 degree that is keyframes name of the animation from transform rotate zero deck to transform rotate 360 deck and our animation is ready now well uh, assigning animation to every layer we need to do a simple task that we have to increase the timing every according to layer like level layer one will have timing of two seconds layer two will have timing of three seconds and layer three will have time timing of four seconds so this will make it give a feel like they will not be continuously rotating on each other it will give a nice sleek effect so now animation name that is here rotate first child to 2s 2 seconds is in not for nice it will give a nice feel infinite it won't stop in between so now as you can see it's rotating now let's add assign it to the all the rest of the elements now time 3 seconds and with the time 4 seconds Tada! We are done over here. As you can see, our spinner is working really nice, and it's far better than our previous one. I hope you liked my video. Please do subscribe me. Leave the queries in the comments below, and if you want to hire me to get your work done, the links are above, on the right side of the screen, and in the description. Thanks for watching.